We talk a lot about tagging and linking within your notes and how important it is for taking good notes and having a useful space for you to work in. But I want to do a deeper dive today on why it's useful. Really, there are two reasons. The first is that tagging and linking makes things easier to retrieve because there are multiple ways back to finding what you've worked on. But also because when you link content together, you're basically creating a new context in which you can look at all of this content together. And from seeing something individual, such as this web link, amongst other related things, you might get insights that you don't just get from reading the web link or reading a different resource alone. So I want to show you how this looks in practice using this web page as an example. So this is about what style of curiosity people practice. And as you can see, I've made quite a few highlights with web highlights, which is a web extension, and I have exported them to capacities. Now, the way that capacities works is that just out of the box, any object that you add to capacities will be visible in the created on this day section for whatever day it was added. And it will also be visible in the object type. So obviously you can see that this is the one object I've created today so far, and you can see that it has a web link label, meaning if I click on my web links type, I see all the other web links that I have. So I'll always be able to find this article through the calendar, so through the day that I created it and through its type. And of course, we also have search. So if I type in style of curiosity, it's the first link. But if I go back to my web links page, you can start to see something very obviously. And that is that more than one web link is about curiosity. In fact, I will search here to show you, I have four web links whose titles alone include curiosity. And the other three have tags on. So any tag that was relevant to it has been added. And if I click on that curiosity tag, I can see not only those four web links, but also other things that are related to curiosity from elsewhere in my space. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but these tag pages alone are a way for you to group things together by, you know, a different topic, something that unites them and to view it all in its own context and to say, OK, now that I can see all of these things together, what insights do I get from that? And in the other video, which I will link to, I was able to pull together um, things I've seen under this tag and create something new, which is something I was thinking about myself, about what a curiosity driven life looks like for me. And I was able to come to the conclusions that I came to here because I was seeing everything else together, such as here, where I wondered if there was a contradiction between some of the things that I'd collected. But you can see that the web link that I've just created about curiosity is not here because I haven't told capacities that it's related. So tagging gives us one way to do that very easily. So all I will need to do in order to have this web link show up here in this tag page is just to tag it with curiosity. And now when I go back to that tag page, it is added. And the next time that I look at this tag, as I am now, I can ask myself if this new content changes anything about what I've already written about. And if it does, I can keep writing. So simply by adding that tag, I have achieved two things. Number one, I have achieved another way of finding my way back to this web link. I can either look in the calendar, I can use search, or I can look at all of my web links because I know it was a web page. But now I also know I can find it when I click on curiosity. But the secondary thing that I've done is I have added that to the mix I have of things about curiosity. And I've given myself some more inspiration for my thinking and my feelings towards curiosity. And I can develop them with the help of things I've seen elsewhere. The same is true for general links as well. So this is my location object for New York. And I have some information here. And if I scroll down, I can see several people related to it and also a place object. And I've also got mentions below of important people in the architectural world. And when I look at all of these things together, instead of looking just at Raymond Hood or Art Deco or anyone else, I can zoom out a little bit and say, OK, in the context of just New York, there's clearly quite a lot in my capacity space about architecture. So let me dive more specifically into New York's architecture and I can use the backlinks to update my existing notes on it which I've done here. And this is what 
linking can help us do because it's bringing together lots of individual objects and essentially grouping them by what they have in common. So all of these people have New York's architecture in common. And when I look at those things collectively, I can update my understanding of New York's landmarks and attractions. And it is the act of linking, be it linking to specific locations like this or to tags like this, where you're bringing individual objects together with a new context in mind. And reviewing those things collectively gives you new insights that you probably wouldn't have found just from the one source alone. So that's what we mean when we say that tagging and linking is really important. There are now multiple ways to find your content and endless new ways to think about your content within the context of everything else. It's a very helpful thing for you to do. So when you save something to your capacity space, yes, you can find it through search, its object types or the calendar, but ask yourself a secondary question. Where do you want this thing to come up again? Where do you want to see it again? So I found this quote and decided that I wanted to see it when I clicked on my knowledge management tag and equally on my ideas tag as well. So you just tag to both of those things. There's no limits on linking, but make sure you're asking yourself that question. And that's how you know the links are worth it and how they're going to be useful to you. If you have any questions about linking or tagging, please let me know in the comments below.